Okay, now we are starting this again. It was an interruption due to uh, power supply. So now starting it again. So what we are doing that we said that we are solving this question and here we need to integrate with respect to x first and then with respect to y. So here I considering this term as a constant when you integrate with respect to y then you need to treat x as a constant and if you are integrating with respect to y then you need to treat x as a constant. So here I am integrating with respect to x so it means y will be treated as constant so I applying the formula of integrating 1 upon a square plus x square. So this will be the formula 1 over a tangent inverse x over a and these are the limits. So substituting the limits we will get here not this one we will get tangent inverse 1 this is cancel with so tangent inverse 1 minus tangent inverse 0 dy. So we know that tangent inverse 1 is pi by 4 and tangent inverse 0 is 0. So now I have pi by 4 minus 0 dy. So it means finally I have pi by 4 outside the integral and 1 upon under root 1 plus y square dy. So on applying the formula we will have log of y plus under root 1 plus y square and 0 to 1. So we applying the formula directly. So if I substituted the values this will be pi by 4. On substituting 1 this will be log 1 plus 1 this is log 2 and then on substituting 0, 0 plus 0 so it will be log 2 log of under root 2 plus 1. 5 by 4 because one when I substituted the upper limit so 1 plus 1 plus 1 2 so log of under root 2 and this is 1 so log of under root 2 plus 1 and substituting 0 we will get 0 because log of 1 will be equal to 0. So this will be the answer in this case. So we treated two cases one by one and what we focused on that that if the variable is given as x then it means you need to integrate y first and if the variable is given in terms of y then it means you need to integrate with respect to x first. Now I am highlighting the case for this one, this example number 3. So in example number 3 it is important to draw a figure because we do not have the limits directly. This is indirect way of giving a limit. So I am drawing the figure and what he said, he said over the region in the positive quadrant, positive quadrant for both x and y. So you know that if this is x, this is y, then this quadrant is positive. So the figure will be drawn in this one, in this quadrant. So here x plus y is equal to 1 means if I draw a line here, this line will show that x plus y equal to 1. So this is 0 origin, this is 1, 0 and this is 0, 1, 1. Because x plus y equal to or less than equal to 1. So this is the region where we need to integrate. So here we can apply any of the possibilities because we can take the limit in this way. For example, I can take the limits 0 to 1 for x or I can take the limits 0 to 1 for y. These are for y and these are for x. And if I am doing with respect to y first, then the limit should be 0 and x will be equal to 1 minus y. 1 minus 
x. If I am doing with respect to y first, and it, it is this is the function, and if I am doing with respect to x first, then limits will be zero to one minus y. Because I can take the limits either way, either I can integrate with respect to this one or with respect to this one. This line is common for both, so I can take the limits y first and then set secondly x or x first and then y. And you will see that you will do either in this way or in this way. The final answer will remain the same. The final final answer will remain the same. So I am doing this one, and you need to do this one. So zero to one. So I am integrating with respect to y. So y squared by two, zero one minus x dx. So it means zero to one x by two, one minus x squared minus zero squared. I substituted the limits. So now finally I have one by two outside zero to one. And now I have x and one minus two x plus x squared dx. It means I finally have zero to one. Then x minus two x squared plus x cubed dx. This is the thing which I need to integrate. So if I integrate this one. One by two. This is x squared by two minus two by three x cube and plus x four by four. Limits are zero to one. So if you substitute the limits, the final answer will be one by two. On upper limit, one by two minus two by three and plus one by. Four, so it means one by twenty-four. Because the lower limit is zero, so only upper limit survive. One by two minus two by three plus one by four, so it means it is one by twelve multiplied by one by two, one by twenty-four. And if you will do in this way, you will see that the answer will remain the same. Let me show you here. Means it is zero to one, and if I do with respect to x first, so x squared by two into y zero to one minus y dy, it means we have zero to one. So it is y by two, and then one minus y squared minus zero squared dy. So it means we have zero to one y by two one. Minus two y plus y square dy. It means we have integral zero to one, one by two y minus two y square plus y cube dy, and it means one by two y square by two minus two by three y cube plus y four by four. It means one by two, one by two minus two by three plus one by four minus zero equal to one by twenty. So either you will do in this way or in that way, the result will remain the same. So this concludes the second part of lecture number five, and inshallah we will continue with the uh, part three of lecture number five in the next session. So it's goodbye now.